Hi and welcome back. And we are talking about manicure template for a website. This can be for your own shop or if you're doing it for a friend or even for a client. And the idea behind a website like this is more for a feminine market. So the colors that you're going to see will be those pinkish, purplish colors that you will find for polish. Of course, there are many other colors. And then the fonts will also be a little bit more delicate, something with a serif or a little bit of cursive. And I think that's also what I recommend here. However, I also do like to be pampered every now and again. So this can be a really big audience. Let's have a look at this website. Nice few pages included here. The design team really went in all the way to make sure that you can get a ready-made website template to use. And this, of course, is available in both Brizzy WordPress and Brizzy Cloud for the pro versions. Five pages, no, six pages. Home services about work gallery and contact. Well, I would also recommend that this is where you need to add a blog page as well. A lot of social links to your Instagram and TikTok, because when it comes to things like beauty, fashion, manicure, the works, you need to have videos. You're going to see we have a lot of images here because this is a very image driven kind of business. This is how you need to sell it. You don't need to write a lot of text, but you need to show your hands, your jazz hands. So. What I said is bring in a blog site to make sure that you can have a bigger reach and that you also establish yourself as an authority in this field. People often, when they go to blogs, have a little bit more of a respect for a website that has blogging with tips and the cool tools like showing how you did it with a TikTok video or an Instagram video. Let's start looking at the pages. On our homepage, we have a great section at the top. This is a great hero section to start with and then the services. You're going to have a few services there. Try and elaborate on them because the more packages you have, the more you give people that selection that they can choose from. A video, this is one video. This will be a little bit about your shop. Nice click on that and then bring in your social media. I'm going to say that all the time when it comes with this. Your testimonials are going to be super important. We're going to look at how you can turn this into a global blog as well. Let's go to the services page. Again, you're going to get the services here. Here, you're going to add a little bit more, add the pricing there, bring people in. And here, I also recommend that you add a pop-up with a discount, get people to buy in. On your about page, bring in a counter that says 1,000 people served, uh, 300 nails tackled in the last week. You know, those kind of numbers that often make the kind of social proof impression that you get there. On your about page, I think you need to bring in your team as well. But again, imagery, lots of imagery and videos that people can go through and links to your social media. And again, we have those testimonials. Then you have the work pages. I think this is just a little bit maybe more background on the kind of equipment you can use, how you work, techniques, nothing big here. Maybe I'll even combine this with another site. But the gallery page is going to be very important. This is where you're going to showcase your stuff and you really need to put on the bling and the sparkle. And then the obligatory, as I always say, contact page, that's very important. To learn more about the templates, go to brizzy.io and then you will find it under templates. And these are the demo templates and you will find the manicure there. Now, if you are in Brizzy WordPress, the installation for that happens right from within the WordPress dashboard. You go to start the templates. And you can see there at the top, you can filter through these. There's the free ones, just a few free ones, pro ones. And then you can also search through the categories. What I usually do, if I have an idea of what I'm looking for, I go to the search bar and we just type in manicure. It's only going to give us this one. However, you can use this even for a spa website. Click on install. I'll install the template, deleting any other previous content. And then thank you very much. Let's just have a quick look at whether this has installed properly. I see the logo didn't come in well or didn't come in at all. No idea. But we're going to swap that out anyway. So we're not too worried about that. So let's talk about two things here. And I'm looking quickly here at the global blocks. We have one for the header and one for the footer. And what I want to do is turn this testimonial also into a global block because actually, on the about page, there's also one, but they are not linked. It's completely different. So turn on global blocks. Currently, it's set only to the home because this is this one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to let me first go check where it is. We could actually just assign it from here. 
But I'll go back into the dashboard. And in Brizzy Cloud, this is very easy. You're just going to the content management system. But in WordPress, we're going to exit back to our pages. So about, let's see, edit with Brizzy. I'm pretty sure that's where the other testimonial section is. That's usually where you want to add another one. This one, I believe, is slightly different, yes. And then what we've done now is go to our global blocks. And there it is. And I'll drop that one in, the one that we just saved. You can see they are slightly different, yet very much the same. I really think it's better to link these two, unless the idea is to have more people. Let's delete this one. And now we have this global block testimonial global block. And you can see it appears on these pages because we've inserted it on these two pages. I love this about the conditions. Great feature in Brizzy Pro for WordPress and for cloud. Good. So global blocks. The other thing I want to do here is build this out a little bit. I was saying we need to bring in videos. So I think every time you bring in a customer, you really need to make this real. You don't need to fake it here. You have customers. You can use your family if you're just a startup but make a video as you work on their nails. So let's bring in an image of the customer. I'll bring in a video link and we can resize this. I think to put it in line with social media, I'm going to put it to a one-to-one -one aspect ratio that gives you that feeling like it's somewhere on something like Instagram, TikTok, or whatever fans. And then let's resize it. And from here, all we need to do is make a few. Let's bring that also into the column here. Okay, let's just click, hold, and drag. Drop that and this text element as well. Make a few changes. Bring that spacer. And then what we can do here, let's just resize. Okay, the text getting very small. I think the block is also constrained, but I like it like that. So let's go to our global styling because this is set to heading five. And then what we'll do is reduce the size. Maybe that, that looks fine. And I think the only thing we'll need to do here, I will probably align, not probably, I will align it to the left. All of them, I'm not a big fan of center alignment, only maybe for headings. Right, let's bring in the link for our video. And I just grabbed something off YouTube for this one. Something to do with nails, because it's a manicure. And then you bring in the image of the client. And I think this is far more powerful, is have the image of the client there and then have a video, either of them saying a few things and then how their nails look, maybe a before and after. Much more powerful than some boring little quote statement that nobody believes in any way. This is a true powerful testimonial. And just with a few little changes here and there, we have updated this testimonial to be super, super funky. Just remember when you're done with this, this is a block slider. If you haven't noticed, you see the two dots there at the bottom. So what you need to do is duplicate this, delete the other one, and then bring in as many customers as you need. And I would say for testimonials, well, between three and make it different. Don't show the same kind of work over and over. And this kind of video you can do on your phone. You don't need this fancy camera that I'm recording myself on. Right. So that is the testimonial section. I'm just looking here at the alignment. Looks good, but I don't like the shape that I've created there. It looks like a state somewhere. Let's go to Brizzy Cloud. For those of you who are Brizzy Cloud users, you install this template by going to brizzy.io where the templates is and click on Start with Design. And the cloning process will just take a few seconds, my friend. And then, abracadabra, bing bada boom. There we go. It is done. And I always have this phrase here in less than 15 seconds. Now, I did say at the beginning, the global color scheme here is very much manicurish for the polish style. For me, the pink is maybe a little bit too much. I would probably prefer to go to something a little bit lighter, like white. Um, I just have that feeling it should be a little bit more spa-like, right? So, no, what I'm going to do here is not change this color here. I don't think change the global color. Trying to look at what we can do for this hero section. What we should do is let's go to the hero section, overlay, and then I can put it on purple. Okay, that's lighter. I like the white. Ooh, yes, I like the white. And if we do that, we just change all the others to a darker color. Hmm, I like this. Probably how I would prefer to do the global styling here. 
a nice light background with strong contrasting pink for my headings. Pages nicely loaded. We have all our pages here. You go in, you edit them. And then as this is a starter template, you also have the menu there already created. And you can see that little home icon there next to home. That's your home page. From there, it's important that you go into the project settings. I've mentioned this a few times, but these are the things that people overlook all the time. Make sure that you update your favicon, your sharing information, bring in that image thumbnail so that when people share it on social media, you have a decent image that can work with it. That brings us to the end of this awesome template created especially for you. Go out into your community, find out where people are doing nails and offer to do something for them at a starter price that is really decent. And then you can cash in on that again with a yearly subscription after that. But you'll be surprised how many people are looking for manicures or this kind of beauty treatment. If you are not online, you are losing out. Definitely. Recently, one of my aunts was having a birthday lives in a town far away from here and I wanted to give her a gift and I was looking for a spa website and what I found was that the few spa websites I got online made it extremely difficult number one to understand the package they have and number two to purchase a package for this person and send it as a gift these are ideal gifts that you can give people so make sure when you create this website that you have proper engagement when you collect those leads put up your forms everywhere make sure that people can reach you and i just gave you a super tip create these packages and make sure that they can be sent as gifts or buy vouchers i think just a package gift is much easier that's enough for me hope you have a manicuring week and i'll see you in the next video